Now we play it with the left hand. Now we're going to do this with the left hand chords as I mentioned. How do we do that with the left hand? Well, we're going to do a bass note for each chord on each measure. Bass note, chord, each time. Bass note, chord, bass note, chord. So, the first one is the A. A octave followed by A C E. I'm doing this with the pedal, of course. Next one is the E chord, just like in the song. E octave, E G sharp B D. If you don't like to play four notes, you don't have to. You could leave off one of these top two notes. So A E to the F sharp. F sharp bass to F sharp A C sharp. Sometimes I play it up here, but you can just do three. Next, G bass, that's important, to the A7. Now that would be A C sharp E G. If you want to leave off the E, you can. Now, from there, we have Back to the D, D bass, D in the bass, to a D, F sharp, A, D. Again, I'm going bass, chord, bass, chord. D major to a D minor, same chord, same notes except F natural, very important, D, F, A, D. to the A, and again the A, and again the A as we start the second pass around the, the repeat on the right hand. So watch again, I'm starting on the A. times in a row, we've started again. E, F sharp minor, D, D minor. Now when you get here, you do the A, but we do this. When we get to the uh, A scale that we run down, you don't need to play a chord. You can play just either the A octave here and end on the A or just a single A down here. That's the only difference. Because right from there, though I know I'll never lose affection, it has to go into that. So, one last time with the chords of the song, and you need to put them together. It just takes some practice. This is slowed down, of course.
That's the solo. Not too confusing, is it? <laughs>